Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Wednesday, Weird Wednesday stream. Back to full stream schedule. Master of Quotes. Astrobate the Master of Quotes. If you put as much energy into your chest as you put into your quotes, there could be no limit to your to your progress, Astrobate. All right. GM Sean is challenging me. The theme of the day is Weird Wednesday, unusual openings. That's the key. We've got to play unusual stuff. Usually I forget and I'll sometimes go off, off pissed here. We are live. Hopefully we're live. Um, good mornings. Oh, you don't have to play weird openings. I do though. Um, but I do. It's mandatory for me. The center. I love me a good center. Anything we can do interesting against this. I was thinking about A5. Normally a bad move playing the opponent's strong side, but I could secure the C5 square. So like A5, B5, E5, bishop B2, and then could you try something like bishop C5? Probably not. Yeah, I think A5 is a bad move. So it's hard to come up with something original here. I've played C6 before, unsuccessfully. <clears throat> um, counter Gambit. It is hard to come up with something unusual against the orangutan, or Polish opening. So I'm just going to go with, you know, he played the weird opening. I did jokingly, like, talk about knight c6. Half a year ago, I, I thought about this crazy idea of provoking b5. My plan was to play like knight c6, b5, knight d4, but it's just ridiculous. You could play knight c6, b5, knight b8, I guess. That would be better. <laughs> so what are we going to do? e6, e6, bishop b2. Bring out the queen early. All right, you play the weird opening, not me. <clears throat> so, the orangutan not great. I mean, it creates some weaknesses in White's position. The b4 pawn becomes a target. It's much less um, safe than playing like b3. Welcome, Husky. But I mean, it's a playable opening. It's not like the grob where you're weakening your king side. So it's it's not it's not that bad for White. Slightly better for Black probably. Maybe equal, I don't know. Peter probably says black is like a tiny bit better. So I have played bishop g4, I lost to Yuri Lapshin. He he wrote a book on, on this opening and included that game in there. It was, it was rapid chess. <clears throat> bishop g4, queen c1. What else can we do here? <clears throat> you know, something just occurred to me. Like e5, bishop takes e5, knight c6 had never occurred to me before. Let's try it. I don't really like this because we're we're trading the central pawn for a for a wing pawn. But on the other side, um, black has slightly better structure. So he has more central pawns and the uh, active bishop on a long diagonal. 
I have better <clears throat> better pawn structure in a sense because he's an isolated A pawn. I don't like A3 a lot. For white, <clears throat> I doubt that's his best move, but it's probably not terrible. Is there any sense in knight a6, knight c5? Perhaps. Not so stupid. If d4. Knight c6 is more principled. Okay, we've got another challenge from Husky. Great. I love the really strong players in the first thing in the morning. <clears throat> is Bishop B5 an issue? Usually it is, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it here. If he gives up his bishop, good for him. I want to strive to develop quickly. I don't think Bishop B5 is that great. So now, wait to use 11 seconds. We don't talk about this. Thanks, Husky. Bishop g4 or bishop kingside? Bishop kingside. Bishop d6 is much more active. My opponent simply doesn't think. We don't subscribe to this method of play. I mean, you should just go play bullet chess. I'm going to go on one of my one of my rage rage tilt lectures now about how fast people play. You've got to draw a distinction between playing bullet blitz and rapid, GM Sean. You're just making moves without even thinking about them. I mean, it, it it really is a bad habit, and you need to stop. Okay. I mean, I don't mean you should just sit there and let your clock run. I mean, actually thinking. See, h3 looks bad. It seems like the most important priority for white is to is to have as much time as possible. If I was like from an alien civilization and I said, okay, this, what is this they're doing? Is this is a game? Okay, what is White's goal? To have as much time as possible seems to be his primary goal. That's the impression that I'm getting here, you know. H3 weakening your king side. That doesn't seem very well thought out. But the important thing is that evil needs 11 seconds. You gotta ask yourself, my opponent is 1782. Not, not really a bad rating. Why is he one in 46? Because he doesn't use his time. Doesn't listen. Can you guys listen to me? All right. Anyway, welcome back everybody. Um, I enjoy thinking, and, and Asterbe put in some quote earlier from Kasparov talking about working with Botvinnik. Man, that's a huge decision to play d4, for example. Huge decision. You leave your bishop locked in at b2. I mean, you have to consider bishop cc5 to be the main move for white here.
this, you know, structurally, you could compare in some way to sort of the Kali system, I guess. But it's not really related. He just doesn't think about his moves. It's perverse. You got to stop with this bullet chest, man. It drives me crazy. This is exactly what I... I don't want my rapid gains to be like one side uses like 30 seconds for the whole game while I use all my time. It's very frustrating. I don't know. We can look at his account see if he's just playing bullet all day. 2,000 bullet games. 600 blitz. Yeah. 67 rapid. He just plays bullet all day. Don't play bullet all day, kids. It's a waste of time, and it's a bad habit to get into. The problem is people like Hikaru, you know, promoting it. Not just Hikaru, but like tons of top players. Not top top players, but a lot. It's like a bad disease. The World Bullet Championship. Wow. Knight G4. White is just like making moves without a plan. I think black is... Why is black 60 significantly better here? Um might not be that obvious, but I think that White's Bishop on B2 is a clown. It's totally hemmed in. And Black has better control of the center. Overall, much better control of the center than White, or slightly better control of the center than White. No, I mean, that queen, H7, that queen c7 is, you know, you're thinking in terms of, like, kind of tricks and traps. Queen c7 with the idea of h5 is, is radically dangerous for black because, first of all, he has c5, trapping my own bishop in some lines. And secondly, like, playing h5 itself could be dangerous for black. It's a nice idea, you know, tactically, but I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to go to that extreme to try to win the game, to try to win a piece. Um, to try to play h5 might be a good idea. But I don't think I have to, and I don't have much time, you know. I mean, if you're going to play that kind of thing for traps, like trapping the knight on g4, I think you got to have time. I could get into trouble. I think black has a fundamental advantage here, and would just be patient. His knight is misplaced on g4. It's, um... Not not particularly well placed. H five could be a very strong move at some point, but I'm not going to rush it. Queen C seven tends to get the blitz, the bishop blocked on. You know, it, it runs into trouble with C five. I was thinking actually, rather than than Queen C seven, we want to play like Bishop B eight and maybe like put the queen in the front. You know. Black with a very strong position here. Speaking of Bafanik, you know, th this is a position. It's um, something he would appreciate. Strategically, black is clearly better. Now, I don't know, I do have to think about f5. I think it's probably a strong Stonewall Dutch. 
at this point. It sort of morphed. I miss bishop takes h2 there. All right. I was just winning outright with bishop h2. Rook e1 was a blunder. It's still morning and I miss obvious tactics sometimes. Yeah, I mean, he's just losing here directly with bishop takes h2 check. Knight f2 wins a piece. I played f5. But black has a massive advantage now. But I mean, yeah, I could have won a piece. It's game over. Yeah, I just take the challenges from subscribers first, and then um, who's ever got more than 100 games? We'll take your challenges next, after. Although maybe I'll take one more game before I play Husky because he's really good. And I don't feel awake yet. I don't play as well when I first start playing in the morning. Um, my results in tournaments also not as good. I've lost, um, in the last month, I've lost 15 rating points in the morning and gained 15 rating points in the afternoon or something like that. Does that make sense? Anyways, maybe gained 10, lost 15 in the morning, gained 10 in the afternoon. Don't play chess in the morning. I've got a game on Sunday in the Hungarian Super League. Where I've got to play at 10 in the morning. Well, all I can do is get a good night's sleep. Knight f3, bishop h5. That was the point. So now he's in a terminal sort of perfect stonewall attack for black. Now I'm not, I'm not really looking for a I'm not looking for g5 here. I mean, h queen h4 looks very strong. I imagine I could sacrifice the knight strategically. I get it. Not so easy to finish him off here. Maybe white is hanging on. So close, yet so far away. I should have played the other move that won by force. Now it's hanging on, it looks like. Don't see a forced win for black. Damn. Well, it is a few moves away from total disaster. It was already a total disaster, but now he's like on the verge of it not being a total disaster. You mean a total disaster for black? <laughs> I hope you don't mean for black. Look, it could be a disaster for either side if you gave either side enough moves. Yeah. It could even be a disaster for black. You know, what he just didn't play king g2. It's like the only move. It's the only move. You know, he's just losing the exchange. I mean, the game will continue now. But, you know, he's going to eventually lose.
eventuality. My position is just too fundamentally good not to be winning. But I mean, the story of the game is that bishop on b2. It's the bishop that didn't exist. Because of that early decision of his not to play, bishop takes bishop, right? He played d4 using one second on the clock instead of bishop takes e5. That's the problem with bullet chess. This is all you care about is playing bullet chess. But you're playing, you know, you're making mistakes. Now he opens up his bishop. Possibly. But at what cost? The whole queen side is gone. Actually not so easy, right? Hmm. I have a plan for that. Oh, that bishop. Bishop c1 defends. I just don't know what to say. <sighs> Look at this move in the opening. This has actually been played before. Why is my computer so slow? My god. What is it doing? Um, let's try something. Yeah, this is a stupid line, but I wanted to I wanted to try something unusual. It's not good to play e5. I mean, this is a dubious variation, but all right, something different. The only thing I want to point out is this position where he goes here. And You know, I mean, this is the story of the game. Like, for the rest of the game, you have your bishop on b2 that's completely blocked out. You use, well, you did use five seconds on that move. No. You use zero seconds on that move. You use zero seconds on, on the move that's, like, giving back the advantage. Let's play one more warm-up game before I take on Husky. No rated games, please. I'm having trouble clicking on the green check button. You know what? I, I, I why it pisses me off when people play Bullet because I hate being rushed. Um, I feel like when people play fast, you, you they're like rushing me. You know, I want to take my time and I want to. I want to, um, you know, I want to be able to use actual thought for the games. <sighs> okay, knight f3 is a tough move. Um, it's very hard to play something unusual against this. There's, we had the, I'm not going to play b5 because last game was a, a Polish opening. b5 is one move that I think, um, is interesting and unusual. <clears throat> Against knight of three, it's very hard to come up with something uh, dynamic. I'm trying to play unusual openings here. Let's play the Dutch.
G5 is not something. <laughs> but but H6 is. You know, Husky, I've played H6. I played G5 against Morales once, but it's not something. Oh, it probably is something, but it's not something that qualifies more than an Eric Rosen video. Um, I played it against Morales once. It was sort of embarrassing. I think I won, but... Yeah. No, no. H6 is has been played by Hikaru and maybe a few other people. I played it against Schieber Spieler and beat him, I think. Or maybe I didn't, but I don't remember. H6 has been played. No, I mean, I'm sure there might be some kind of traps. It's like playing G4 in the Queen, in the Queen Pong game. You know, D4, Knight of 6, G4. A reverse of that, right? So 1964 is strong for white. We've got either an English or um, or Leningrad, or or I'm sorry, but a Dutch, not necessarily Leningrad. English or Dutch. If I play d5, block my bishop in. If I play knight c6, white has d4 strongly here. A crushing but good. No, I mean, if you play g5, you just take it. I mean, it's not it's not good. Okay. I looked at this this week, actually. Huh. Clear. D6. I was thinking about playing this way with white in a game. This can transpose to an English. Knight d2 is not great. But it's not terrible, I guess. I like the English better here. Probably c4. The knight is slightly more passively placed on d2. It's it's not really ideal for white. I'm taking too much time, but it's early in the morning and I'm still not awake. I criticize you guys for playing too fast, but at the same time, I'm actually playing too slowly. I've got a really big day today. A lot of a lot of stuff going on. I've got to do some meetings and um, and a video and a lesson. So you got to wake up. All right. So kind of standard king side. attack for black if we can get it it's like the king's indian against the closed sicilian or something uh, this this queen is not great it's not not a very good square for the queen in general but you see this sometimes in the old indian no i don't do chess bull too trendy for me. I try to stay away from the trendy. And I don't have Twitter. Alright, let's just play knight c6. So a4. Yeah, he's, he's also, like, the last kid. They're just kids who play bullet chess. You've been misled, my friends. You've been misled. Need to start thinking. Stop playing bullet chess, start thinking. See, that's the problem. Why are you playing chess if you don't want to think? I don't understand why you don't play, like, I don't know, bingo, or, um, maybe even Tetris requires thinking. You need to think of games that don't require thinking. Think of games that don't require thinking. 
So this knight c4 is not a bad move. He's used 11 seconds for the game, and he's 1700. Much like our last opponent. No promotion of chessable, please. What's up, Mr. Coffee? Oh, yeah. I'm getting, I'm always getting challenges from people who, who are interested in just playing quick chess. And that seems to be like 99% of people on, on Lee Chess. There's like this sickness going through the chess world. Damn, Mr. Flight, Mr. Flight, Mr. Coffee, Mr. Flight. Mr. Coffee's on a flight. Oh my god, D4 master. What? How does that work? Speaking of thinking, that's just like a totally random move. How can that possibly be a real thing? Mr. Coffee, how is everything with your dad? Um, did you, did you end up like spending Thanksgiving with your family in Florida or was it just like an emergency? You said you had to go to the rehabilitation center or something like that. Mm-hmm. But I mean, do you have other family down there or just your father? All right. I don't know, kids. Winning, a, winning material. I'm just winning material. I'll take it. We won a pawn. Congratulations. There were various ways to win material in this game. You gotta give the the hero, our opponent, um, some credit though. You know he's <sighs> fast. Your father, sister, and brother are also in Florida. Emergency Thanksgiving. Sorry about that, man. I mean that everyone's in Florida. Sorry about the Florida thing. It's better than St. Louis, though, I imagine. Whew, gotta be careful here. Mahala Sapai. 1700 rapid, 1500 blitz. And 1600 in, in Chestnut 60 of three games. I went to Disney World a couple times. That's, and, and Cypress Gardens and SeaWorld. That's the extent of my Florida experience. The, the classic, like, amusement or, you know, recreational sites there around Orlando not big on Florida it's not hard to be better than St. Louis though man I hate playing with B8 is that the best I've got I'm only up one pawn after all this unbelievable gotta give our opponent credit for 
the random d4. And now he's transposing to a lost ending. You know, but it's not a walk in the park. Descending. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not that easy. Wonder if I should even take his bishop, objectively. Kind of hard to use that bishop. So, like, c6, bishop f3. Kind of holds it together, doesn't it? In general, I think rook endings are way more drawish than the minor piece endings. So, you want to try to be careful when you're like up a pawn or something. Not necessarily transposing to every, you know, rook end game that comes along. I suppose this is a good move. We want to tie him down to the weaknesses and then advance our four on two majority. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, even that, that's kind of a tricky move in itself. I just feel rushed again. You have a lost position and, and two minutes more than me. I don't know. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't like king e five there, because we we would allow rook check. Maybe it probably was good though. The majority is super majority. It's like the freaking Supreme Court here. Is this the first time I've I've talked about the Supreme Court in terms of pawn majorities? Probably not. Our opponent is showing some good endgame technique, I would say. <sighs> Fairly good endgame technique. Ultimately, wanted to play this differently. I wanted to try to create like two connected pass pawns. I don't love the way I'm playing it. That's got to be a bad idea. He split his own pawns up. So now I have two connected passers. This is like a fatal mistake that one of my opponents made in my tournament. What about rook d4? Is that, is that bad? Rook d4? Yeah, it's tricky. Take, take king f3, d5. Could lead to problems. I think we go here.
kids, it's about time management. Why do you have three minutes more than me if you had a worse position the whole game? All right. Got to start thinking before you get a bad position. It's good to th it's good to think when you have a bad position too, but let's try not to get a bad position. All right, Husky, I'm white. Yes. We are at openings Wednesday. I only have till around one ten. Okay, what are we gonna do? I didn't play any E four games in my tournament. Alright, I was thinking Trompowski. Because I don't play the Trompowski. What is that? H6 against the Trompowski. Alright. It's a substandard move. Probably not that bad, objectively. Not great, but not that bad. Would be my take on that. I could play it like a Verisov with Link to C3. So it's mostly about pawn structure here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try this. So that puts pressure on d5. I think it cuts out c5 ideas by black. No, so you might have to settle for a Slav sort of formation c. That's good and bad. I mean, in a way, he's secure, but my, my, my pawn is secure, too. So, I think it goes both ways. Very similar to, um, to the Dutch, you know, the knight c3 Dutch. Interesting. Why do I feel like I should play h4 here? Is that a weird thing to think? I feel like I should be playing for h4, castle and queen side. What about his king? Queen h5, the field. Queen h5, g6 is a problem. So h4, it, it's not so stupid. All my pawns are in the right color. This will mess with his ability to play like g6 f5 and create like a good dutch type of structure developing my rook incidentally and now maybe queen h5 is a thing Khan. He's playing the EF Karo Khan. Husky plays the Karo Khan, right? So let's say Queen H5. Like begging to get my queen trapped. Can you please trap my queen with Bishop G4? Deposit 25 cents. My queen is deposited on the h5 square. Only only one way out. That's a dangerous situation. Please deposit 25 cents. What's best versus Trompowski? I don't know. It's up to you. 
If you're a Slav player, then I guess playing structures with c6 makes sense. But I'm really big on, you know, I'm really big on fighting against the center, so I like c5. <clears throat> but c5 right away, you know, 2c6 is kind of rare, Mr. Coffee. Husky's got totally got the EF Karo Khan thing going on. Man, I saw the EF Karo Khan get wrecked at the World Senior. I've got to look up this game. Rogelio Antonio from the Philippines absolutely destroyed the guy who played the EF Karo Khan. It's the first time I've seen the opening get like absolutely like demolished. He castled queenside. G4. G4 in, in you know, it, it involves some risk, I think. I can play bishop f5, trading late square bishops. But I mean, main idea is g4, g5. You gotta ask yourself, self, is there a reason not to play this? Is my queen trap, boys and girls? Well, he's just stopping. He's just trying to stop g5. My god. I can still get my queen out with queen f5. That's sick, man. Queen f5, knight g5, and my queen is actually trapped. That is disturbing. I must say... Bishop f4. I guess I could sack my queen. Queen f5, knight g5. White's attack is faster than black's attack. But notice how like Husky's actually using time. We're both actually using our time and, and literally thinking. That's the way that chess is meant to be played. Not like, you know, one side using 10 seconds in a seven minute game. You guys are supposed to use your time. Acerbate, are you listening? You're supposed to use your time. It's not a contest to see who has more time. It's not bullet chess. That is not chess. That's something else. We don't talk about that here. That is something else. My queen is trapped. But not really. So it's time, boys and girls, for the soup du jour. We've been we've been forced to sacrifice. But I think it's a promising position for white. Queen h6, bishop g4, rook g1, f5. Oof. Queen h6, bishop g4, rook g1, f5, oof. Ouch. Oof and ouch. What about like bishop f8? He doesn't really have anything here. Oof them. Welcome to Oof them. 
there are some dangerous features of, of this position for black. The king safety, number one. It's like Ford. Quality is job one. Uh-oh. He's all about the queen traps, huh? Unbelievable. My queen is virtually trapped. How many pawns do I have for this? Do I have three pawns yet? Yeah, I have three pawns for the for the queen. So rook g1. We gotta do it. I think we gotta do it. Anyway, I mean, that would have been my move. He has perpetual on my queen. Oh my gosh, no. F5, queen g5, bishop e7. Queen f4, bishop d6. I can sack my queen here with queen g7 check too. It's interesting. Queen g7, king g7, pawn f5, check. And white has compensation for the queen, probably. But it seems a little over the top. I feel like it's safer to play queen g5. Three pawns for the piece should be plenty. Airplane mode. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good landing. Where are you flying to? Philadelphia? Harrisburg? Is there, there's an airport in Harrisburg, I assume. I heard like regional airports are kind of on the out. Philadelphia would be far. All right. I, I know, if I have more time, I might do the queen sacrifice. Charlotte Harrisburg. Okay, kids, here we go. Our queen is not trapped. He tried his best. Tried everything to trap my queen. Failed. Queen trap, fail. Yeah, this is seriously not good. takes e5. Wow. I'm a Trumpowski natural. <clears throat> Do I have anything here? F6. He has two bishops for the brook and he's getting another pawn. Don't like this. This is not acceptable. Oh no. What do we do? We go with like the, the multi pawns? Damn. Man, what was queen f7 about? Why did he do that? This is kind of weird. Hallucinating, I had checkmate. Wow. This is getting really, really strange.
I don't believe it. I have officially no idea what's going on now. I might not even be better. This guy is unbelievable. He actually has a plus score, although a lot of them are simul games. is an answer for everything. It's crazy. if he saves this position. <sighs> Rook and two pawns for two pieces. It may be a draw. I really, I really don't know if I'm winning. Very, very close. Although this might have been a mistake. Maybe Rook B8 was better. Beaver Falls, Ontario. Wow. Another amazing defense. Check. Here. I get it. Am I lost yet? Amazing game by Black. Rook B8. I still have three pawns, four pawns. I'm going to give him all my pawns.
Charolette. Charolette. Check. All right. We got we got us some past pawns here. I like me some past pawns. This is a classic ending. Rook and three. Let's get my rook somewhere where I can get forked by by his knight. That's the key in this position. I'm, I'm, I'm heading for a knight fork on d5. Trying to get a knight fork. We averted that. Knight c4, attack my a pawn. a6, and another knight fork, no. No more knight forks. It's a roundup. How is he always ahead on the clock? It's unbelievable. He's never ever been behind on the clock for one move in this game. Even in, in tough, difficult position, he stays ahead on the clock. Thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty, twenty-nine. Yes, I'm ahead on the clock. All right. Look at F seven. That pawn gets to f6, bro. Alright, it's not so easy. But d5's hanging. Okay, that's that didn't make progress. How do I make progress? Yeah, it's too hard to hold against these separated pawns. And now bishop e4 just drops, rook takes e4. But I doubt I was necessarily winning all the way. Hopefully I was never worse. Tough game from Husky. Even the score. Troll on a roll, chess 960. Troll on a roll always plays chess 960 only on Wednesdays when I... Thanks, Husky. When I, um... I like to play weird openings. It's like he's literally trolling me. Because there are no openings in Chess 960. <sighs> center. It's the center is so important here. Probably I should spend more time in the opening stage because I keep getting bad positions in the opening stage of Chess 960. I mean, we've got the symmetrical sort of like Queen's Bishop Fianchetto. This is last game, right? No? I don't know. Resident Spectator, why? I have to go at one at like one ten, which is in an hour. So this this isn't last game. Why am I so thirsty? Jesus. Um. I'm playing better since I played eleven rounds of serious chess. I think. Because I'm thinking more deeply about the game. 
the games, shall we say? He's going to hit my, my e4 pawn with b6 or b5. How do you protect the e4 pawn? Seriously, how, how does this get protected in a good way? That's pretty annoying. Yes, I'm using too much time, but I need to focus myself. Hard to find focus. That's how I lost my game in, in the World Senior last week. I didn't have good focus in the games where I lost and almost another where I almost lost. <sighs> Queenie two. If it was legal, it would be a good move. Uh, it's very easy to make hallucinations in chess 960 because you're just used to the pieces being on like their normal squares and I find that it's just so common to hallucinate it happens to everybody I'm sure so the e4 pawn is attacked and there's no good way to defend it great it's really great unbelievable Trollner will play suspiciously well in Chess 960, I would say. He's definitely suspicious. wonder how ridiculous, like, Bishop F3 is. Looks ridiculous. Boy, isn't this an exciting position, huh? Don't you just love Chess 960? Gets play positions like this. Maybe it appeals more to tactical players. Oh yeah, we're we're Central European time. Um Budapest, Rome, Berlin. Is Paris? What what time zone is Paris? Is that the same? It's impossible. Yeah, three pawn moves is not a is not a world record in chess either. But there's literally no way to defend the e4 pawn otherwise, except for bishop f3, which is horrid. Why does Troll make me play Chess 960, man? It's so gross. It's like a painful exercise that's not bad for you, but I don't enjoy it. I don't understand for a second. What time zone is Paris? Is that is that like the same as London? Is it like GMT? There's no way that Paris is, is the same as Budapest. I'm confused. Yeah, D5 best move. Turn on your computer, troll. Nothing suspicious about, about his play, ever. Destroying my central pawn. Now it's a different story. Now we have this. But I think that black is fine. GMT plus one. See, that's weird. Isn't that weird? How is Paris in Central European time? It's like the westernmost city in, you know, one of the westernmost cities in, in Europe. This is... That's bizarre, you know? It's not Central Europe. It's just bizarre. The time zones are just bizarre. 
bishop e6. Did you stop using the computer for that move? That's weird. Bishop to e6. Not what I expected. Troll also must have been like chat banned or he lost his Twitch account or something because he's not talking. Can I castle kingside? One of the best things about Chess 960 is that surprise, like long castling when you're not expecting it. Very dangerous. Boy, my knight on e1 is really good. That, um, pressure on h2. We got another challenge. Pause to reflect, my opponent is a stuffed panda. I never thought of it that way. But you have the appropriate name for such a thought. Something terrifying. Yeah, my opponent is, is, is a troll. Oh no. Goodbye. Is that did that work? I tried to ban him. What's happening here? God, I hate these people trying to promote spam on the Twitch stream. Please, I can't. I'm like frozen. What happened here. God, why are you spamming my, my stream, dude? I don't know, man. My, my Twitch is totally frozen. First time chat. Oof. I think he just, like, froze my whole computer. We have 13 viewers? God, it's worth it. It's so worth it. I just banned freaking Moobot. I banned Mr. Coffee. Oh my god. I totally didn't. What is that? Is Troll a computer, do you guys think? Does he use an engine? I think he plays too strangely, too too good. Too perfect coordination to not be using an engine to pick his moves out. Saji so banned blah blah blah. Saiji banned Mr. Coffee. I didn't ban Mr. Coffee. I didn't ban Moobot. Did they like did they like hack my Twitch settings? I mean what what just happened there? I tried to click on ban the, the spammer and then all of a sudden I banned both my moderators without doing anything. Because I was like lagging, I think I must have been accidentally like secretly clicking on stuff that I couldn't see. While I was clicking, it wasn't still there. If that makes sense. Well, maybe it's time to play Knight F4 at some point. You know what makes me think he's a computer? It's like he doesn't move any pawns, right? That's very computer-like. I don't know. He plays so weirdly. Obviously he's cheating if he's 17 and 208 against me. 
So now what do I do? On the fence here. Maybe take with the B pawn. I like this protecting the center. I also didn't like, like bishop f5 on my rook in a lot of lines. I don't know why, why, why Wednesday sucks so bad? Wednesday mornings. I should just like not do this stream. We always have 13 viewers on Wednesday mornings. Because it's hump day and it's early. But we're here for WJ Loof. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome from Pennsylvania. Morning time. Mr. Coffee's flying back to join you in Pennsylvania. He's in the air now on his way to Charlotte and Harrisburg. He'll have some company soon. In Pa. Okay, so what are we doing here? Troll got faster again. He was mysteriously slow for a while. And now he's picked up to speed. Welcome, Princess Chess 64. Good to see you. Princess Chess said she had a tournament last week, told me. So I'm not the only one who played in a tournament. The good old Thanksgiving holiday chess tournament. I used to play in the National Chess Congress every year in Philadelphia when I lived in the U.S. That seems a distant memory now. Never really had good results in that tournament, to be honest. Only once. Um, I did manage to qualify for the U.S. Championship once from that tournament. I don't like Troll. He's too strong, too fast. Even sus, I would say. I'm on the verge of like hanging a piece and I'm flagging against Troll, who's supposed to be 1555. Right. Okay. Whatever you say, dude, there's nothing suspicious about your play. I just hung my whole position. This is really sus, dude. He's played like literally a perfect game. I just hung my d3 pawn, but I'm like in positional Zugzwang. Now I'm lost. Dude, I just, I, I will refuse to play chess 960 from now on. It's just a waste for me. I, I don't like it. It's not fun. I'm terrible at it, and it's just not chess. I, I Especially on Wednesdays, when we're supposed to be playing weird openings. Why am I playing this against this guy? I don't even like chess 960. Why should I play this for your benefit? And, and he just plays like a computer, man. I mean, it's ridiculous. How can you be 1555 and play like a computer? Look now. 1900 classical rating. 1555. It's, 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 it's bogus, dude. This guy is bogus. He's trolled all of his ratings. 1555, 1666, 1666, 1555, whatever. I mean, what do you do? Like, use an engine for some of your moves and then just lose on time? Or how does it work? Fifty fifty five is like not that bad for chess nine sixty. It's more like eighteen hundred blitz. Why does he refuse to move any pawns? I mean, isn't that kind of weird? Then again, so do I. We've moved the same amount of pawns. Jesus, knight g5. Nice maneuver. Uh, 
something not not 1555 about this player seriously though his play is so strange even though I'm 208 to 17 I still think he's suspicious I have to be, you know, 225 to 0, and I'll be satisfied. My opponent is not suspicious. I want a metal detector. See, here he's going to, like, lose on time. For no reason at all. Instant recapture. And he can play, like, uber bullet speed. Yeah, I'm only down one doubled isolated... One doubled pawn. Deviled pawns. I have no threat here. Queen e5. He missed it. He did queen e4, which is scary. Hey, equal material. And now he resigns. Of course. He resigns in equal, equal material position. Of course. Very logical. Yeah, I don't enjoy Chess 960. I'm not going to accept his Chess 960 challenges anymore. It's just really annoying. Um, Alright. So Chess. Real Chess. Yes. I hate Chess 960. So, alright. Resident Spectator. We do have half an hour, 40 minutes left. Then he like gets me off my my theme, which is playing unusual openings. The Verisov. How would George Bush Junior say Verisov? America. Verisov. Nice C three E five. America. I finished thirteenth for America. Okay. He like seems to be adapting here pretty well. We don't know much about Resident Spectator. Black is threatening to play D5. I think that's important. Recognize the opponent's threats. Pause to reflect. Oh, Bogachag is here. Um, thanks for being a subscriber, Bogachag. And pause to reflect. Thanks for being a new viewer. Wednesday is a very uh, lightly attended stream for me. I don't know what it is. My Mondays and Fridays, there's always more players. What? I, I offer a take back. You're not going to ruin this game with E4. Maybe he made a mouse slip there, literally. I think it was a literal mouse slip, yeah. He just meant to, to capture and push by accident. We hope. We hope. If he's 2,063, I mean, he obviously should see that his e4 pawn is hanging, but this is also a bad move for black. Fundamentally breaking with, with principles. You know, you never exchange knights in Slav. It's a bad idea. Slav. Wow. Slav. Yeah, the Scotch is what I meant. Slav, Scotch. They both start with S, and they're both, like, ethnicities, I guess. See, this is why I don't play chess well in the morning. I can't even speak properly or say what I mean. Um, I'm getting, like, dyslexia. There's um, mind fog, brain fog, whatever. How did it go with the psychologist? Asturbate, everything okay? 
they check your brain out? Did they give you the marshmallow test? Is the thinker still working? <laughs> Are you danger to society? Did they let you like like in that Simpsons episode take out your frustrations with those like pillow things you like hit each other with? The the the, the Simpsons had like family therapy and you like beat each other with those like pillows on sticks. What? Oh, you moved, you moved your weekly meeting. Well, don't do so, do anything on my account. It's just a chess stream. <clears throat> Acerbate is our one of our best friends here he's he's a VIP he's subscribed for 59 months so don't worry we go back a long ways and and I can I can safely joke with him about stuff he's like the joker He's he's a little a little crazy, but he has a good heart. I mean, the Joker's kind of extreme, but you gotta you gotta kind of like the Joker. I think you know, even though he murdered a lot of people, um, it's all right. What are we gonna do? Bishop g5. Oof. What about e5, kids? What's going on with e5? Just trade off your own center. Always a good idea. So I'm on this. Obvious tactics are sometimes hard to find. Damn, dude. Does this... Does this work? Knight d5, queen g7, queen g5, queen h8 check, I'll take it. That's an inspector. See, like the last week, 10, 12 days, I've been playing chess in the afternoon, and it's weird to wake up and start playing chess from 11 a.m. My brain is not. My brain is not trained for this. You're over 300, Acerbate? I didn't know you were over 300. Acerbate, that means you're only the second player to go over 300 against me? You beat Mule Skinner in the race to 300? Morales has like three, you know, Way up in the threes. Master Bates played 316 games against me. Wow. Is it helping? You need to use more time, as I said yesterday. You still don't. You're not reaching your potential because you don't use quite enough time. He didn't reach his full potential. Queen g7, knight g7. Where's the forced win? You gotta love knight h5, man. Gotta love it.
Wow. Bishop takes d8, bishop takes d4. I don't trust knight takes c7 check. I can't believe there's no forced win. Crazy. Queen d2 doesn't do anything. Checks don't don't work. Queen g7 is just a big fat exchange of pieces. Wow. What about like bishop takes d8, bishop takes d4? Bishop takes c7. Bishop takes b2. Rook b1. Oh my god, he has like bishop a3. It's still not like a way to win for white. Man, this is crazy. It's really crazy. I, I have no way to win by force. Despite the fact that by all rights, it looks like black should be lost. Fundamentally. Solving his problems by putting his knight on the side of the board. There is no clear win. How about queen d2? f6, bishop h4. Still not, not convincing. Queen d2, f6, bishop e3. It's quite strong for white, but again unconvincing maybe bishop h6 guess I don't know I mean I just don't see a win for white it's unbelievable now h5 actually holds I can't believe it that's crazy now what do I do? Trade off his bad bishop with bishop h6? Is, is it a bad bishop, by the way? Like, necessarily? Not necessarily. Like, this can become a very strong bishop. There's the bad bishop if there's a pawn on e5 forever, right? But it's not necessarily a bad bishop when it's like g7 and black can play f5. So I think here we're settling for lasting slight advantage threat of g4 winning a piece good luck with that obviously bishop takes h5 is a thing we're just calmly rewinding and ready to to strangle him like a boa constrictor This is a, a typical game, you know, I think. A five, of course. Like the only move that doesn't get his knight trapped, virtually. Okay, so he's... He's sacrificed the pawn. No, master. Oh no. A valiant defensive effort by black. Coming unglued. Because of g4. Resigns. Can we just take a look at that position where you play knight h5? I want to see if I missed something. I felt like there was something better here. Look at this. Unbelievable. You know, my intuition. 
The intuition tells you that there's something better. Queen d2 is plus 4.7. It took me like three minutes to, to verify that. Tell me, like, honestly, what would you guys have played? It feels like white should have something, you know, tactical. But none of the tactical lines work, you know? Queen takes g7. Leaves white with only a slight edge. Bishop takes d8. Bishop takes d4. I can't really... You know, this line I looked at, but I don't win material here. There's no, no clear forced win. He made one mistake and one blunder. Troll, are you speaking of your game or this game? Chess 960 doesn't exist. Chess 960 has been canceled. It's like Karpov. You've canceled it. Okay, weird openings Wednesday. Bam, the Mexican. It's called a McKenna's defense. Game of life. Ugh. Now what am I gonna do? Oh no, it's one of those like London system players, right? I'll play the Nimzovich defense. You know what it is, it's the freaking London system. You do knight c6 and they just do knight f3 anyway. Crawling back to actually thinking. No, he doesn't play the London system, wow. Interesting. Very good, very good. OBKB. What you gonna do? I just play some kind of opening. If you play d5, I play knight b8. I don't want my, you know, pawn structure to get ravaged by knight c5. I don't really like that structure, although it can be playable. I don't think it's great here, though. You know, having played g6, I'm definitely not going to play knight e5. I don't like this double pawns on e5, and this is a Nimzovich type of position. Seriously, the London. Like, what is that? Why, why put your bishop on f4 against this... Colossal monolith on d6. It's a bad idea. You know, this is reflexive play. f4 is not a great square for white here for that bishop. The bishop should just remain on its home base for now on c1. So that's the problem with people watching videos where players are promoting like London or whatever they're just promoting play with no no thinking it's it's like kind of what resonance spectator is talking about okay bishop f5 meh we got to consider it takes 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 I need a good reason why not to be honest with you guys Why ask why? I just, I'm so grossed out when I see authors or chess masters. I don't even understand. Like, at the World Senior, there were two grandmasters playing the London system every game. I was like, man, 
this this shows zero creativity. So even grandmasters are guilty of it. It's not just like it's it's not even just um although weaker grandmasters I would say it's like they're lazy, you know. They don't want to be bothered having to think in the opening. Then why play chess, you know, I would say. But all right. For me like one of the greatest things about chess is is you know, the ability to to be the chance to be creative um, and, and, and think of new ideas and try to expand your understanding of the game. There's no way you're going to like expand your understanding of the game by playing the same freaking position over and over again. It's good for absolute beginners. That's it. You know, teaching like a player who's rated 600 to play the London system for the first opening is okay. You know, but after that, you got to learn to to be more sophisticated and, and really appreciate, you know, appreciate the game and, and adapt and grow. But to see masters whose repertoire is like the Karo Khan, the London, and the Slav, game after game, mindlessly play the exact same structure, it's like, okay, whatever. Oh, this is an interesting move. Now that's creative, Queen A3. Most players would, would probably automatically have gone back to d1. There's some risk in the queen being on a3, I guess, but it stays more active, protects this. <clears throat> Not that he's to attack it there. But there's an argument that it might be out of play in the long run. I also um, wonder if b4 is really a threat. I, I want to reflexively play a5. But every time you get an instinct to automatically do something, I think that's a moment where you should be like, wait a minute. We need to fight against reflexive thinking. So every time this like bloop, A5 idea pops up in your mind, you should stop and, and pause and reflect, right? Pause and reflect and say, you know, maybe I have something better than this reflexive automatic move. Maybe I can, can find something, you know, even stronger. So if B4, I could perhaps play Knight E4. But in the meantime, I do have to develop my pieces, which is an issue. So I, I could play another move, but what would it, what would that move be? You know, Knight F6, B4, Knight E4. thinking it through. I still, I'm still gonna go with a5. I don't like my knight getting pushed off the square. It's too strong on c5. We'll take our time here. I'm gonna play a5 and then develop naturally with knight f6. I've got all these players I play regularly on my stream and they have sort of fetishes and we all have our like obsessions and fetishes and habits that we, we get into, but it's some people it's like out of control. One player we won't mention by name always puts his queen on the same square. He always puts his bishop on the same square. It's like, it's not appropriate in every position. That's crazy, you know? You gotta be more fluid in your thinking. Um, The other, the other thing that I think is, is interesting is the concept of sort of um, the threat is stronger than the execution. And this is a neat move, knight d2. I like that. He's starting to take over e4. Not sure I can prevent it, actually. Only temporarily. I can prevent it for a moment with knight f6, but ultimately in the long run. But he's leaving other squares weak, like like d4 and e5 by retreating his knight back. Still, I think that's a good move. By white, knight d2 was a nice move. I missed that. 
I can play e5 at some point, <clears throat> blocking my own bishop. Brilliant, right? Nope, not yet. Now when he plays f3, presuming he plays f3, it's going to be like total free, you know, free roll on the dark squares. Wade has very little good control of dark squares with every single pawn on the light squares. You have an easy way of avoiding such obsessive same moves. Yeah, but you're not playing chess. It's like another game. Chess is enough, man. I'm, I'm, I am I'm. haven't mastered chess yet. There's no reason to play chess 960. I'm still working on chess. I'm, I'm slowly improving, though, I believe. We, we, we've made some progress. I'm, I'm getting kind of old, so it's not, it's not a lot of time left, but, um, but I believe I'm still improving. We gotta move quickly in terms of improvement at the stage. Now that I'm a senior, almost a senior. I'm having senior moments. Astrobate, do you get a lot of senior moments? All right, dude. Knight d2, what are you gonna do? F3. You should update your VD rating. No, unfortunately not. No, those those points were already like lost. I'm just leaving my FIDE rating as it is because it will it will go back to where the exact same point. I already lost the points I gained. They were already spent. The freaking Hungarian, you no, know, the Budapest Team Championship nightmare. The nightmare game where there was like a kindergarten in the next room, and I lost with black. Three weeks ago. I lost like eight and a half, nine points in one game because of this crazy conditions we had to play in. I, I'm going to freak out. I, I refuse to play in this idiot league anymore. It's a joke. I, I play weak players. The conditions are horrible. I'm getting paid very little. I don't know why I, I agreed. What was I thinking when I agreed to play in that Man, this is like a, a mega blunder. Distracting me. I should have just castled. I gave him B4. Maybe not a big deal. But it certainly wasn't necessary. But I was also worried about... Blocking my own bishop on F5, you know? And this exchange on h3 is not so great. Ultimately, it's his bad bishop, anyway. Idiot league. How old are you? Pause to reflect. Don't feel obliged to answer that question. Only if you want to volunteer it. Um, I, um... Yeah, I'm 39 again this year. Thirty-nine. I've been thirty-nine for a long time. Astrobate. I've been thirty-nine since Astrobate started watching the stream. Actually, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing stuff, isn't it? That fact. I look better than your average Eastern European chess player. You took with a rook. Tricked me. Wait, what? Oh, this isn't so great. 
I gotta be careful here. You got A6. Waits battling back to an almost reasonable position. My queen d7 was just bad. It wasn't the best move by, by a big margin. Guys, we only have 15 minutes left, so if, if someone wants to throw out one last challenge, I can try to do it. Do you really want to take with the rook? Do you really want to take with the rook? Queen b2, not recommended. But it might be good. Mm hmm. And now, we can coordinate. There's also queen a8. I like this better. When the whole piece, you know, the whole um, army coordinates. Did you guys know that chess is a team sport? Whole army must coordinate. Yeah. Now we can we can end the challenges with this game. I've had enough. Yeah, this is really solid for black. White is just getting wrecked here coordination and maybe he hasn't a way rook a2 f3 bishop d7 so there's no rush to take that pawn it's not going anywhere the proverbial the proverbial it's not going anywhere <laughs> it is it is going somewhere oh shit all right but not very far. Coordination station. Castle. And his queen has no squares. The queen mate. Queen mate. Checkmate to your queen. Perfect coordination. Queen was mated. You eat eat your way into the opponent's position. Food. Chess is food. Getting hard to break through here. Oh no. Just as I said that. It's getting hard to break through here. Yeah. I mean, White went off the rails early in this game. With this, with Bishop F4. I mean, it's, it's funny how, how early we can make a mistake. But the dark square weaknesses. Just to illustrate how bad this move is. Watch the evaluation drop. So only like a bunch of second rate IMs here playing with black like me. I'm just kidding, guys. All right, Jason Gonzalez, Carlo Rossi. But no GMs, notice, eight off. No GMs willing to play this position with black. Just IMs. But not a single person played bishop f4, of course. This bishop now is necessary, you know, this, this pawn is, is weak. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna play bishop g7. 
the last thing you should be doing is moving your bishop on c1. Bishop f4. I'm surprised the avowed didn't drop more than that. It's not that bad, you know. But you have to play knight to c3. You can't be afraid of bishop takes c3 here. Or you shouldn't. You know, you've got to live with that. Don't worry about this. It's not the Nimzo. If it is a Nimzo, it's a, it's a bad Nimzo for black. This is not a great Nimzo for black. I think, you know, that's White's problem. He he was afraid of, like, bishop takes c3 check. But objectively not that great a move for black. So queen c2. Bishop f5. Sorry, here. And this is interesting now. e4. Bishop e4. Queen e4. Bishop takes b2. So he has to play what? Queen d2. Queen d2 is better coordination. Maybe. I like how the engine says plus 0.6, but then it's like 0. Queen d2. The point is you've got to play knight c3. Check this variation out. Here, here, and the engine actually wants to do this. Asterby, what do we what do we what do we say about moves like this, right? You gotta get a permission slip to do that. But it might be necessary. I wouldn't play Bishop to C three. Anyway, interesting. I did make a blunder. Oof. I thought Queen D seven was my blunder, to be honest. Wow. Look what I missed, guys. Okay, queen d7 is, is dubious. But I missed knight a4. Holy crap. Raise your hand if you saw that move. I am not... <laughs> I was not... Not spotting knight a4. That's... Unbelievable. Unbelievable move. Queen a4, queen a4, queen a4, knight a4, pawn takes, knight b2. How does this work? Queen a4, queen a4, knight a4, a b4, knight b2, and now knight e4. And like, check this out. Black's not a piece, but who cares? You know, people are too materialistic. One of my biggest arguments that I see, you know, chess players, especially at the lower levels, are vastly too materialistic. Yeah. But it's hard to spot knight a4. As usual, I missed a tactic. It's, it's really bad. This position is plus four for black. Despite the fact that black's material, you know, material is equal here, plus four. It's all about coordination. There's nothing he could have done to save this position. It's lost. Very good. All right, guys, I'm out. We're going to be back with another stream tomorrow night. Subscriber stream. So if you are a subscriber to the stream, please don't forget to subscribe. Donate gift subs. We're going to have a bit party. A bit party on Sunday. Dude, is my stream lagging? We've got subscriber stream tomorrow night. Twitch is really acting buggy. But we will be back tomorrow with our subscriber stream. So don't forget.
Thanks everybody for tuning in. Have a great one.